Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to my YouTube page, which is all about helping people navigate their ascension process. And this video is this month, August 2016, Ascension Energy Forecast Update. Whatever you prefer to label it is up to you. But I'm gonna talk about the energy present here in August, and it is exciting. It is very new. This is kind of one of the reasons why this video is coming out, you know, four or five days into August. Initially, I was quite perplexed by just how different the energy felt. On one hand, it felt like a sort of carryover from the types of energy to a lesser degree than we've been experiencing the past six months. At the same time, there's a lightness, but not yet strong enough to really, I didn't really know what, what, what it really it was implying. But what I'm finding is this lighter, more positive, more uplifting, more supportive energy is kind of growing in potency while at the same time, this residual of the former energies that we've been battling through for so long is starting to kind of die down. But it's not even so much the energies have shifted, even though in a sense they have, it's that you have shifted. We have changed. We have heeded the nudges of our spirit to let go of a ton of baggage and to really examine ourselves, our deep core motives, our core values very intimately, much more than many of us would have liked, honestly, this past six months. And from this new perspective, we have like now an energy of support. And what does that mean, support? Support in the sense that now if you jump into the proverbial fourth density river. Not quite sure how it's gonna, where it's gonna take you. Not quite sure. All you can see is it's moving fast. It's it's quick, and you have the sense that it's your dreams are up ahead that river, and but you got to kind of take that jump. Now is the time that you can safely take that jump. We may have tried in the past. I tried, and I found that psychologically and emotionally, I really just was not ready for that speed. That, that speed of manifestation of our dreams. But now, again, the energy is sort of supportive. We're feeling more of ourselves now, and now it is, it's the right time, man. It's a transitional month out of the old energy into a brand new energy that we're all just now trying to figure out. No one really knows what it means or it implies. We have our own sensing, but we are truly heading into new, uncharted territory that looks insanely promising. It's like the birthing of a brand new chapter or a whole new life. You have the opportunity, some of you, to literally jump out, to, to transcend your old identity and everything that comes with it and step into your new self. And what is that new self? It's whoever you want it to be. Whoever you really want to be, you have the potential to start being now. Less bogged down by all the baggage that we were carrying around for years and, and years and years and years so long that we've been sort of like stifled by our own unconsciousness. Now we have cleared so much that again, you can go forth. Now this is not easy. This is not easy to take, to jump in that river over there. It's not, I understand. I have held on to things, little things here and there. Um, because it made sense to. It seemed like if I was to let go of this thing, that would be crazy. That would be completely stupid. I mean, how could I do that? And yet in my body, I felt it was time. And I struggled with this for the past six months. Finally, what I'm finding is in the things I've been holding on to against the feelings of my gut, my, my belly, my intuition, have not been going very well. They have been manifesting a ridiculous amount of complications and problems to where it seems now more logical to let them go because they're not working anyways. So you might find that you might find that you're still in the process of releasing these old blocks that you've been holding on to for several months because you weren't quite sure what they meant and you weren't quite ready to let go of them. But now is the time to just let them go and to jump and to go and you will be carried with this river. What's really intimidating about this river is, because, is you don't have it all figured out. The old way of doing things where you plan things out, you try to stay relatively safe 
during the journey. Now it's about taking these big leaps into the unknown where there is no element of psychological mental safety. You don't know what you're getting yourself into, but you feel it's right for you. You feel a resonance with these particular decisions or like jumping points that might be popping into your life now. And that's how we get along. That's how people are gonna need to function in this new energy. Because again, the old outdated ways of doing things are too slow. They're too limited. Our, our minds do not have the capability anymore with this new dynamic higher frequency energy present to map everything out and to keep, you know, that, that's just gonna break down. It's gonna cause people to go crazy with the ones who choose to hold on to the old ways of doing things, okay? So it's a time to let go, listen to your intuition, and trust. Trust that you will be given everything you need when you need it. Not all before, in your little psychological prison of safety or illusory safety. No, it's going to come to you when you actually need it in the moment, and that allows you to be light. You don't have to carry around all these plans. You can just be in the moment like a little kid. Kids don't plan things out. They just live in the moment. They play with their reality. They enjoy themselves. And you can do that and make adult-like progress forward, in fact, way faster than ever before. You're cutting out the unnecessary middleman work of plotting and planning and reasoning and thinking and replotting and replanning and re-reasoning and rethinking. And you get to skip that. And this month, you will make that decision to make this transition. It'll be an easy one because the, the parts of you that are holding on, you're gonna find are gonna cause very obvious and significant levels of stress. And you can slip very quickly into negative thinking and pessimism and just negativity. And it's like, wow, you'll, you'll know, wow, I'm not, I'm not in alignment. I, I gotta do something. And you'll start to quickly inquire and, and like almost like desperately, find, what is the deal? What, what, ah, ah. And then just as quickly as you spiraled, you'll pop back up like a buoy. And you'll see very clearly, ah, it was because of this thing. This thing I thought I needed. This aspect of my identity that I thought I had to still carry around. This, this safe little job. This safe little existence. This safe little whatever. Now I've let this go and it feels better. Now, because we're in this transition, you might let that thing go, you might feel better, but then you might still have like the paranoid thoughts. Like, oh, was this the right idea? I don't know, maybe this was, maybe this was kind of stupid. It, it really is now the time to ignore those thoughts because those thoughts are gonna get you into trouble. They're gonna sink you right back down into that sinking ship that you just, just escaped out of, okay? This is like sink or swim sort of energy, okay? It's important not just for you and your life, but for the whole, that you learn to let go in the flow of your life. Because that is the only way to ascend, to make it to fourth density for real, permanently. And that is the only way to be a true living example, a true beacon of light and hope for the soon to be masses finding themselves popping in to a spiritual awakening process that they don't understand. And it's gonna be probably more accelerated for them because things are just happening so quickly. And they're gonna see everyone else is freaking out too because the people who aren't ready to awaken, they're gonna probably be pushed over the edge finally. And you're gonna see a lot of insane and erratic behavior. The news is gonna be filled with drama and horror and insanity. And they themselves are gonna feel like crazy. And then there's gonna be these random freaking people gliding, gliding through life with this Buddha smile. That'll be you, that needs to be you. And they'll say, whoa, you care to explain? You care to explain that smile? Don't you see what's happening? And they'll say, well, you know, I just kind of tr trust the flow of my life. And you'll be so open. When you're in that flow, you'll be so open and you'll know very clearly what this person needs to hear. Okay, you'll be able to deliver literally, literally like divinely inspired messages to these people. It'll be easy for you. And you don't, and it's, it's about the fundamentals. It's not that you're gonna explain to them that you're ascending and that they're merely out of alignment with their vibrational home base. You'll be able to say more simple things. You'll know how to frame it for the particular person to understand it and actually grasp it, okay? And you'll just have these random little 
uplifting conversations with people and you just become a natural healer without even trying to be. People are gonna start being drawn to you and triggered by you. You're gonna get both. You're gonna walk into a room and some people are gonna give you the shittiest, nastiest looks like, who is this guy? Who does he think he is? Look at the cocky bastard, I can't believe him. And other people are gonna say, they're gonna be like, they're gonna be staring at you. And they're not gonna know why, but they're just, they're drawn to you. They're gonna watch you. You're gonna, it's gonna be a very interesting <laughs> phenomena for a lot of us. But that's how powerful one who is in the flow actually is, okay? You gotta jump in the river to get in the flow. You gotta let go. You gotta just let go, man. Be brave, be courageous, have fun. Who cares? So this river takes you upstream and you get stabbed in the face with a log, who gives a shit? So what? It's life, you only live once. Just, just jump, okay? You'll be happy you did. You'll be supported. What do I mean by supported? Do I mean that magical fairies are gonna drop little uh, BMWs and, and, and money into your bank account? No. You'll be supported by awesome ideas. You'll get these brilliant ideas that all, out of nowhere and you'll feel it in your body like, whoa, I'm onto something here, man. And then it's up to you to take action on those ideas and this whole process will just keep you in the flow. And that's how it's gonna be done, guys. That's how it's gonna need to be. The old ways ain't gonna work anymore, trust me. Trust yourself, trust your own life. Tell me I'm wrong, look into your own life. It's time to jump, okay? It's time to jump. It's okay to jump, you're safe. You are supported. The veil, people like to talk about the veil, the veil is thinner than ever. When you really need some divine encounters and assistance, it'll be there. You'll be able to perceive it, it'll be right there. Your angel, your guide saying, hey, you're okay, buddy. Oh, thank God, I was getting worried there. Some of you might find yourself feeling very blocked, okay? What I just described is the potential of this month. Some of you might have an accelerated awareness, an expanded awareness of the blocks you're holding on to. And again, initially, it's gonna drive you bananas. You, you'll, you'll feel like you're freaking out. You'll feel like you don't know what the hell's happening to you. When you feel that way, that's always the time to step back and say, whoa, what am I doing? What am I holding on to? Because the contrast between alignment and what I just described, that like negative state, that out of alignment state is gonna be so obvious. It'll be much easier. You just have to keep following the positive feeling, yummy, good feeling energy, okay? And just try to stay in that as best as possible. When you come out of it, really quickly say, why, 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 why? Oh, it's that, okay, back in it, you're back in it, you're back in it. And that'll build momentum. And that river will speed up and you will be manifesting your dreams. You will just look, away, look at yourself and say, wow, I really am already living my dreams. You will be the person you envision yourself to be now. And then next September, oh my God, get ready. Okay, we'll talk about that come September. But I wish you guys all the best. I'm here for you. Leave comments below if you have any questions. I have an email list where I hook people up with daily inspirational messages to kind of keep them on their path. I tune into the energies almost on a daily basis and I send my people what I believe will be helpful to them. And so far I get a lot of really positive feedback and so far it's been, it's been quite helpful, so I've been told, okay? So that's an option as well. You're not alone and it's safe to jump. Peace. Mm -hmm.